Rick Saratella back here on location at the National Football Foundation College Football Hall of Fame with USC legend Matt Leinert. You might know him now from his work on Fox Sports. We remember him as uh, one of the cover boys at the NFL Draft Bible on our publication. But uh, Matt, obviously a well-decorated career. This has to rank uh, amongst one of your greatest accomplishments. What's it mean to be part of such a legendary class up there? It, it's, uh, yeah, it's incredible. I mentioned the class. I mean, Peyton and... Marshall and Erlacher, you know, I played against Erlacher in the NFL and obviously some legendary coaches. It's just a, it's a great honor to represent USC, my family, my teammates, all my coaches who, who kind of helped me get to this point. It's still, it, it still hasn't hit me. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that I'm a part of this class and in the College Football Hall of Fame and I'm just extremely thankful to be a part of it. And now you're having a lot of success as a, a broadcast announcer and on TV. I, I, I love watching your Thank stuff. You. and. How has that transition been? How have you adapted so well from playing to the broadcast? I've, I've been really lucky. You know, it's um, I'm surrounded by great people at Fox Sports. You know, I have a great team around me there, great, great co-workers. Just, we just have fun. You know, we have great relationships. And um, I've been very fortunate to, to go from football to kind of ease into the TV gig, which is different. You know, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. Um, like I said, I have a lot of great people around me with tons of knowledge, been covering the sport of college football forever. So I just try to try to be a sponge, take it all in. And I just, I really love, I really love my job. I've had a blast. And um, anytime you could talk about football, especially college, I just love college. Uh, it's been great. I had a chance to recently catch the 30 for 30 on ESPN. Right. Uh, that was a great well done thing. I'm just curious, what is your relationship with the USC football program now? Have you been around the program at all lately? And what's been the reception of having you back there? Oh, yeah. I'm obviously been very close with USC since my time there. Um, you know, very close to Clay Helton, who I think has done a great job, unbelievable job there um, the last couple of years. And, and, and SC, you know, I live in Southern California. SC is down the street. It'll always be kind of a home away from home there they they've always welcomed me in with open arms still have a lot of people in that building that were that were there when I was there so um, and actually you know a lot of people are here get a lot of text messages this week from just people who are part of that kind of run that we had at USC just congratulating me and all that it's just fun it's just cool because there's so many people that are part of this journey with me you know and uh, USC will always be you know very close to me. And, you know, college football observers here, a lot of them saying USC might have, should have been in the college football playoffs. They didn't have college football right. playoffs when you played. Just a quick take on, on the format. Do you like the system? Should it be expanded? Or? Um, I, you know, I love, I, love the, I love playoff. You know, I think it's great. I, I wish, you know, we were part of the BCS era, and obviously we are fortunate to win a couple championships. But a, a playoff is, is awesome. You know, I get to cover it. I think, I think the system is flawed. I think the BCS was flawed. It's always hard. You know, you just – especially when you have guys in a room, you know, with a subjective opinion about who they think is the best team. Um, and every year, you know, especially this year with Ohio State and USC both being conference champs and Alabama getting in, um, there's always going to be debate. And I think at some point expansion will happen because there's just a lot of really good football teams that will always be left out. But um, it's just it's still fun to watch, man. We're going to have some great matchups in the playoff. Last one for you, you know, obviously USC has another highly decorated quarterback whenever he decides to yep. come out. Have you been able to give him any advice just on his future? Uh, you know, Sam and I have spoken. Uh, I've always kind of been one of those guys. I've told him, I'm just, if you ever need advice, I'm here. You know, I'm not going to try and sway him one way or another. Uh, you know, he, he's going to make his own decisions. And, um, I, you know, as a Trojan, I just, I, I'd love for him to come back. But he's got to do what's best for him and his family. And if, if that's staying or leaving, you know, that's, that's something that I know, know Sam personally, that once he makes his decision, he'll go and put a lot of work into whatever that is. So, um, he knows I'm here for him if he needs me, and, and uh, you know if he calls, I'll, I'll give him my advice, and that's it. Matt Liner, 2017 College Football Hall of Fame. It's an honor and a privilege. Thank you so much, thank Matt. You, we man. appreciate it. See you. Yeah, thank you. Keep it locked, everybody.